What's up, everyone? Welcome to Chicagoland Sports Network. Today, I'm here with Pontelis Zidias. Uh, say hello. What's going on, everybody? Pontelis here. Super excited to be here. My guy Dylan's the best in the biz. Let's get it rocking. So he plays college basketball for DePaul University. I'm a big fan of DePaul. Uh, I've loved watching them this whole season as they had a great season starting, what, 11-0, 12-0? Yeah, man. Yeah, we were 12-1 uh, and 1 at one point. Rocking. Rocking on all cylinders. It was amazing. It was a great feeling. He made his first uh, career point this year. Mm-hmm. Nice was that goal. against? Yeah, good shot. You uh, missed the first one, made the second, and the whole bench was jumping up and down. I love you watching know, that video. Usually I don't tell the people about the first miss. Yeah. But and the second one. I definitely tell them about the second make. That's, that's yeah. what I like to emphasize. Mm -hmm. So uh, going into college, uh, did you have any other offers besides the Paul? Uh, you know what? I had a couple. Um, I mean, as far as walk-on offers go, I had a couple of Division ones. But otherwise, it was mostly, you know, uh, D2 interest, um, some D3, of course, non-scholarship, and then NAIA stuff. But for me, DePaul is a no-brainer. You know, the city's amazing. The school's amazing. The vibes are amazing, and, you know. Yeah. What schools offered you, like, walk-ons for D1? Yeah, so for walk-ons, um, Creighton was looking at me um, as a walk-on. And then um, I was in small talks in Michigan State, but not too much. Um, and it was, it, was, it was mostly at that. Yeah. And, like, what was it? One of your coaches at Lalu works at DePaul or something? Yep, yep. So our head coach at Lalu Mir, who was the head coach at the time that I was playing on the team, is an assistant coach now at DePaul uh, with me. So it's like a match made in heaven, you know? Yeah. That's my guy. I That's crazy. Super, he's the best. He's the best, and I love playing for him. And I couldn't imagine my college experience without him. So, mm -hmm. you know, everything is just – everything's been amazing. And that was a great uh, team in high school. You had uh, Jaron Jackson, Jordan Poole, Brian Bowen. You had a squad. You won the championship. <laughs> yeah, we weren't too shabby, that's for sure. Yeah, I love the story about uh, you told me in practice when Jaron uh, dunked over you. <laughs> that was demoralizing. Demoralizing. He dunk on me, block my shots, this He's and that. Tank. got me better. Don't get me wrong. They did get me better, but they made me a lot more humble. And realizing that uh, I was not, I was not as good as I thought. <laughs> yeah. So what was like the transition like from high school to uh, college for basketball? You know what? So Lalu did an amazing job of conditioning us because, you know, we're a college preparatory school ranked at the time that I was their number one in the country and won the national championship. Yep. So the level that we held ourselves to and what we did in practice and otherwise, um, you know, even off the court um, was pretty similar to college, at least as similar as it could possibly get at the high school level. But, you know, once you get to college athletics and you get to traveling all over the country, mm -hmm. you know, trying to juggle that with a college education at, at a school such as DePaul, um, it's definitely more challenging in the sense that you have to manage your time to a T. And you need to know exactly <laughs> what you're supposed to be doing, when definitely. you're supposed to be doing it, and then, you know, make sure also that you get it done. So definitely time management and just, you know, the traveling everywhere all the time. Yeah. So you're probably pretty busy, like student athlete a lot. Absolutely. You're booked, like every day. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> so in my free time, I like to watch YouTube videos on real estate investing, on investing in the stock market and whatnot, uh, cryptocurrency stuff like that. I'm kind of a nerd. I love finance. I love real estate, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, and then also, I mean, if I'm really just not doing anything, I like to play 2K. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty good at 2K, as a matter of fact. And uh, otherwise, go on walks and eat. I yeah. Love I see that you, like, have the Instagram accounts for the, uh, the stocks. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, yep, yep. I did have PGX Global Investments. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was awesome. I... Still invest avidly. I don't post on their page anymore, or nor do I have that page anymore. But yeah, that was that was definitely a, a fun ride of posting. Yeah, that, that was interesting. So uh, after the season, your senior season, uh, do you hope to stay, like maybe coaching or somewhere uh, after the season, or going into the stock market or something like that? Um, you know what? So I'm very open to all opportunities. Um, you know, but for me, I plan on being a young entrepreneur. I actually run a business right now um, called Incredit Smile. 
And, um, you know, I'm, I'm working hard on that. I'm building that. Um, my dad also owns a company out of Northwest Indiana. Um, it's an automotive repair shop chain, you know, has various uh, automotive repair shops. He also does real estate. So those are two more things that I want to get into. Yeah. And then for me, I, lo I love finance. So, you know, probably something in the financial field. I really want to open my own investments firm uh, in the long run. But, you know, and, and in the short term, uh, probably just, you know, getting into real estate, uh, growing my own business, and then, uh, you know, getting myself more involved in my father's company as well. Yes, yeah, so you've got a good few options to choose from. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. So, like, besides the Paul, obviously, like, who do you root for in the NBA? Like, Pistons? I know you're from, like, what are you from, Michigan, right? Michigan City, Indiana. It's All confusing, right. but it's in Indiana. All right. So, who are you rooting for? Uh, so I'm rooting for the Lakers because I'm a big LeBron guy. I know that hurts some people, and some people love to hear it. LeBron They've got my pick winning the championship. Lakers? They've got my pick. Woo -woo. I love that. Well, I really hope you're right, and I hope that I'm right too because we're on the same uh, yeah. boat here on that. So is LeBron your favorite player? Yeah, LeBron is my favorite player, even though Giannis, Greek freak, I did a combo, is like one of my just top, top, top. I love to see him succeed, but yeah, I'm, I'm a LeBron guy through and through. Yeah, you can't hate him. Cannot hate him. Yep. So uh, if you couldn't play basketball, what sport would you play? Hmm, if I couldn't play basketball, you know what? Um, I used to be really good at soccer when I was younger. Uh, soccer and basketball were my two sports. I didn't really love soccer like that, though. Like, you know, soccer isn't really my passion. But as of right now, golf. And I'm not very good at oh. golf yet, but I'm working on it avidly whenever I can. And I love golf. So I would have to say golf if I could build up the talent for it. You ever play top golf? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I play top golf. Um, really, I just go out there and hit the balls. You know, I don't <laughs> – I'm not very good at aiming yet into the little dartboard kind of cylinders. But You'll work on it. Yeah. Go out there and see that video like of uh, Mike Trout, like, launching it out of the place? No, I didn't see that. You know who Mike Trout is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he launched it, like, far out. It looked like it went to space. <laughs> That's crazy. I need to get on that level to where I would be able to do that. Because right now, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not terrible, but I can't even do anything close to that. I mean, when you're 6'5", like him, like 250, I mean, anything's possible. Muscle man. Yeah. Out there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So you've got the uh, – you've also got a show with uh, B Minor on Instagram Live and the Zooms. How did that start out? Yeah, no doubt. So, and sorry, sorry, you cut out there for a second, but um, so Brant and I met um, at the PK80 tournament when I was a freshman. Um, after one of the games, he was at the game. We played against Oregon, and he DM'd me afterwards. He runs a camp out on the West Coast called Max Hoops. Mm -hmm. He DM'd me after the game and was like, "Listen, man, I love your energy. You're awesome. This and that." Um, and he's a great dude. He's a great, one of the best people that I know. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to continue to build a relationship with this guy because he seems awesome. So, you know, we're just talking positive vibes coming my way. I'm sending back positive vibes to his way. You know, everything was awesome. And then, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, we've stayed in touch. And then over the quarantine, we were like, listen, man, you know, I really want to find a way to lift people up, you know, give people positivity during these times where everybody's just down in the dumps. So we created Be Mine and the X Factor, and, uh, you know, so far it's, it's been great. We got over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is cool. Um, we started approximately two months ago, and, you know, I've, I've been really enjoying it. I had some great guests on there, and, uh, you know, you're, you're always tuning in, which I really, really appreciate. Yeah, too. I think it's a great thing. I love watching it. Uh, a couple of my friends and I, we try and watch it once or twice a week. I think it's a thing I look forward to. So I always like hearing your stories and his stories. That's much appreciated, man. You know, that's, yeah. that's really what this is all about. That's the mm -hmm. whole reason why we wanted to start this. So hearing you say that is great. Yeah. You ever do one of his camps or, like, play on one of his teams? Uh, no, no, I haven't. I mean, me being from Indiana, you know, residing yeah. in the Chicago area, you know, he's on the West Coast, he's in Portland. So, um, I mean, definitely after college, like when I graduate after this year, I'll probably go over, you know, work one of the camps, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Try, try to spend as much time with him as possible because he's awesome. And, you know, there's, there's so much to learn from him. A lot of great nuggets of information and positivity from him. So I'll definitely be involved after college. Yeah. I saw uh, one thing. I forgot who it was today that DePaul got a big commit today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we got a big-time four-star recruit, um, you know, for next year. And we're, 
We cannot be more excited about that. Sounds like we're going to be really good next year. Yeah, that put us at the number eight uh, recruiting class in the country, which is yeah. spectacular. It's crazy. They got uh, this guy from today. They got Bionum. He's pretty good, I heard. So, I mean, hopefully we'll, like, the start from this season will continue on. Yeah, man, absolutely. I hope so. And, you know, things are looking on the up and up. So, so far, so good. Let's see what we can do. And then you got uh, Paul Reed in the draft class this year. I've and seen him all over the boards. Yeah, man, he deserves it, too. That's somebody who just works so hard. He goes out there. He gives his 110% best effort every single time he goes on the court. So, yeah, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. He's been a 2010 machine the whole year. I see him, like, going, like, late first round, mid first round, second round. So, I mean, maybe he'll go to the Bulls, I saw. That would be pretty cool. If you went to the Bulls, that Stay would be – in Chicago, amazing. I think that would be really cool. I'll be at all the games. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Um, one last question for today. Uh, as a kid, do you ever collect sports cards? Because uh, I run a sports card count, and I just think it's interesting to see if athletes ever did. Uh, you know what? I did not collect sports cards. Um, my brothers were crazy into collecting sports cards, and they gave me actually a binder of a bunch of just really old sports cards uh, that are really cool. Like, they have, like – it's all basketball cards, and it's, like, a whole – one whole page is of just different Michael Jordan cards from back in the day, like, all the legends. They have it, like, categorized. So, like, they'll have one page for, like, the Timberwolves, and it'll be all Timberwolves players, one for the Bulls, and they have that for every single team. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cool. I didn't do any personal collecting, but, you know, they were definitely avid about that. Yeah, I mean, I love collecting. One of my favorite guys to collect is Max Drews from DePaul. I've got, like, a ton of his autographs. All and right. I think it's, like, so interesting that, like, one of the players I've been, like, watching the whole year in college is just, like, in the NBA now. He plays for my favorite team, the Bulls. And I just think that's really interesting to, like – like, if you got an autographed card, I'd buy all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, well, he's – yeah, he's one of my best friends. You know, I, like I said, I don't, I don't have any basketball cards or anything, but I probably should get some, though, because, you know, just, just support the broskies. Yeah, we, we have to have someone make one for you. Yeah, that's like a cool. custom card of you and Oscar. <laughs> we need me an Oscar for sure. Oscar, he's a character. I love him to death. He's a great player. All right. Thank you so much for letting me interview today. Uh, I hope to see you at Winterest Arena if there's a season this year. So thank you to everyone for tuning in to episode one of Chicagoland Sports Network. Make sure to tune in to uh, B Minor and the X Factor on Instagram Live. And peace out. Thank you.